Sachin asks, uh, I am facing an issue in Outlook whenever I receive Teams meeting invitations in Outlook. And while opening that invitation in mail, Outlook crashes and gets closed. After again opening Outlook, it opens and gets closed automatically for a few seconds. I guess it's a bad profile. Oh, he's bad. Profile profile, damage, yeah. profile or reinstall. Or a pest. Something yeah. got corrupted. Yeah. And or reinstall Teams because the T the Outlook plugin comes from Teams. It's not supplied as part of Outlook. Go buy a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> Control delete doesn't work. But if you got the budget. No, but on a serious note, I think yeah. Start with recreating your Outlook profile. If you're not familiar with how to do that, you could just reinstall Outlook, to be honest. Um, you could go to. Uh, well, except settings. that doesn't get rid of the profile. The profile was part of the registry. So yes. you have to. If you're going to if you're going to do that, reinstall isn't going to help. What you're going to have to do there is do something like the office scrub or something like that, which will remove not only the office, but the profile as well from the registry. I've done it where I've created a new profile, created a new profile, leave the old one there. Just in, Which is just in. always a good plan. Yeah, so create the new one. If that's then all working fine, then delete the old profile and then you find you don't have to reinstall Outlook. You know, do it. Do it as kind of. And a always to remember to take the little the little radio button that says prompt for a profile because you'll wind up creating a brand new profile and Outlook not to know that, so it opens up the old one. Yep. Uh, you have to pick the little button or make sure that you select the new profile to open when Outlook comes up. That's that, that bites people easy. We yeah, so just, just to clarify, because I know what you're talking about, but I don't know that other people would understand that under con the control panel in the mail setting, so you go to control panel mail, you have different profiles for Outlook and you can create, like I have multiple because Sometimes I need three of my email addresses. Sometimes I only need one of my email addresses. So I pick which profile and which data uh, files it attaches to. Is that what you're talking about? Is that on, yeah, because that's happened to me. Yeah, yeah if, it's not, if you're on your desktop, if you just got a file and underneath info and you then you got all your account settings. So if you click on the account settings drop down, down the very bottom, you've actually got um, a change or change profile or manage profile. Mm -hmm. You can do it directly through Outlook on the desktop if you need to. You don't need to kind of go through um, Windows control and panel. do it. Yeah. Good luck finding the control panel. Yeah, you're better off to just go if it's your Outlook desktop. It's under security. Info or account if you setting. Put your control panel into icon view, it just pops right up. So long as you don't have it in, the, I think it's called conversation view or something like that. Switch the view, yeah. you've got it there all the time. Yeah. So when you get in and it's there, the, Go show profiles and then underneath that you can start to create under show profiles. So you actually build based on profiles. Now and the only issue I've had with that is when I try to change my default profile, you can't do it when you're already logged in as the default profile. You have to log out, log back get in. Get out of you have to uh, yeah, take uh, get out of Outlook and then come back, come back in again. I didn't know you could do it from there. You just taught me something new. I always do it from mail because I've done it that way for 30 years. So. Uh, no, yeah, no, I, I always do it this way. It's yeah, because it's quick and, <laughs> and easy. Yeah. yeah cool. Just yeah. in case it's not a profile issue, though, uh, you can also go to uh, programs uh, and uh, there's a repair button for Office, which work, it comes it's in handy quite a lot. Yep. Yeah. Although Hal uh, and I went through this experience where I had a corrupted profile, something similar. To this issue uh and uh went through the repair a number of times and never did get that fixed i still I, you know i stopped thinking about it because i can get access this is one of those weird things there's something going on with the profile i can get access to it through the browser no problem i just can't use the desktop app with the profile it just won't reset and i've not wanted to call microsoft support and i don't no. i don't have time to to go through that process now we know why you use Outlook on the web. Well, that for work stuff, and it's it's not it, it wasn't work related. It was a private one, but there's a different issue there, is because that was that profile and that uh, that demo tenant got hacked. So. Oh wow! Wow. And yeah, so they did. They tried the ransomware, and I laughed at them, and uh, and then it, my profile got corrupted. So I don't know what happened along the way, but. 
Yeah. Was it one of those evil laughs that you did? Or, you know, because I would have liked to see. No, that. I just get the laughs because I got the threat, and they, there's a dollar amount associated with it. I'm like, for that demo, there's there's no data. It's like, good luck with that. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Love that one. Yeah. Good times. Yeah.